now for the three that I tag. First one is going to be Tony from Famo 59 down in Australia. I'd like to see what type of knives he carries. Um, he's always out in the bush, metal detecting, camping, all that other fun stuff, and always coming across all sorts of uh, creepy crawlies in Australia where everything's trying to kill you. So I'd like to see uh, his knives. Uh, L okay. <laughs> where everything's trying to bite you, scratch you, or eat you. You're definitely right on there, bearded CV82. Well, guess what? I will take the challenge on. And uh, I just happen to have a couple of these knives with me that I carry with me. So I will go outside and uh, do a bit of a talk on them. And on top of that, I might just even show with some of my old footage how sharp I have. So that might be another challenge. So even though I might show my three knives, I will show how sharp they can be. So, uh, and then I'm going to think about who I nominated. But guess what? One of them will be Neil Colson from the Comic Chef, because I know he has good knives. <laughs> so we'll see how sharp they are. Okay, the challenge is on, and then I'll tag three others. That's a knife. Yeah, that's a knife. <laughs> Let me show you its features. <laughs> Uh, challenges, I tell you. I've just been uh, challenged by Bearded CV82 uh, for the tag 3x3 knife. Now, probably a bit embarrassing because uh, I don't really have any real sort of fancy, fancy knives as such because I just use uh, my knives for every day. As you will see in some of my sharpest knife videos uh, down the bottom of my channel if you guys want to look at it. But anyway, uh, what I've got to do is the cheapest knife, uh, most recent purchase knife, and the most used knife. Now, um, probably the uh, cheapest knife that I have altogether would be my FAMOS. Cheap, probably copied to, um, to a, a good survival knife that I made from, uh, and I named it FAMOS, only because I've got a, it's an old, um, blade used for uh, metal cutting and I've so I used the top up here to um, for the serrated edge if you want to cut timber uh, as such or bone on a wild, small game and uh, and it's sharp you know uh, I, I use this knife all the time especially when I'm out camping a uh, very uh, a very good knife and uh, che cheapest because um, I made it myself out a bit of old leftover hacksaw blade and uh, made up a sleeve, bit of PVC uh, piping, uh, heated it up and flattened it out. And um, yeah, it's great. I'm going to actually slip in my uh, sharpest knives, uh, how sharp they actually are, because I have done these in the past, and especially with these same knives. So that will show you exactly how sharp they actually are. So um, stay tuned in between. Uh, they're worth watching. So, uh, that's about it for that uh, most recent purchase. Well, I suppose it'll be um, uh, this little pocket knife here. Um, it's a, uh, a Magnum stainless steel. Uh, I do have a couple others, but believe it, uh, I've put them away, and I just really haven't had time to go and get them out. But uh, yeah, it's just a small bladed knife again. It's only cheap. Uh, I carry this pretty well all the time when I um, out in the uh, metal detecting and, and camping as such. But well, hang on, I did forget. I do have one that I purchased off a good friend of mine who lives uh, who actually uh, lives not very far from me, but he's a professional knife maker, especially for survival I just knives. To have it handy right here. So that's. Probably one of my other recent knives, made by knife maker Murray Lanthoids. Has his own bullet imprint on there, and believe me, this is sharp. I always carry my little friend with me when I'm out prospecting or out uh, hunting, uh, camping, because it is so handy, especially a beautiful necktie like this and uh, you know made a homemade sleeve for it 
and uh, it works great. Fantastic. But when it comes to my most used knife, well, it has to be my favourite 14 inch kitchen knife. Made my own sleeve for it. That's a knife. Again, we use this every night. You know, when we're cooking or chopping vegetables up. Victor Knox, good brand. Can't go wrong. Do yourself a flavour. You want to cut up nice salamis or whatever. Nice long cutting length. Sharp test. No problem. So all you uh, guys that are uh, doing the three by three uh, knife tag, it's good to have all your knives, but are they sharp? Okay viewers, now my uh, turn to tag three people. First one will be Neil Colson from the Comic Chef. Uh, it's a tag 3x3 knife challenge, so again, you've got to do your cheapest knife, your recent purchase knife, and your most used knife. Dalton Thomas, <laughs> if you've got some knives, mate, let's see if you can do the challenge. And also, I'm throwing in uh, somebody uh, different, Sue Nelson. Now, I know that she um, got a couple of special knives, so uh, that she won from uh, D-Mole Knives. In a competition and they are beautiful knives so it'd be just nice uh, if she wants to uh, post them or show them on the three by three um, tag knife challenge and again i was uh, tagged by bearded cb 82 so the challenge has been done <laughs> thanks a lot mate <laughs> and so neil dalton and sue the challenge is for you guys for three by three knives again the most cheapest knife, the most recent purchase knife, or knives in your case, Sue, that, that you won, because they are beautiful knives, and the most used knife. So this is Famo 59, saying bye for now.